uh, Russian um, KGB, or a Ru Russian person, a Russian person in the service of some sort. So, just to have somebody have a real person tell me all of these stories was just, just more than I could handle. More than I can handle. And then, and then he told me more about you know I told I thought this guy was totally I thought within. For the first 30 seconds, I thought this guy was nuts. And then I got the recognition he thought that I thought he was nuts. And then that's when he started telling me all of this stuff. Because he knew he wasn't nuts. He just knew he had been tortured. You guys should read this book. <laughs> you guys should read this book. It's, it's called The History of the CIA by Tim Weiner. And the book, you know, I have various issues with the book. But what's in the book is information that everybody needs to know. And that's all there is to it. Everybody needs to know that this is what has happened the last 50 years. We need to have ongoing conversations about this. Because it's, it's awful. It's unbelievably fucking awful. And, 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 it, and I don't want it to continue in my name. That, that's what it really comes down to. I, I do not want to support this as an American citizen. They have to meet somebody who you know whose life has been ruined from being tortured. And then, it, you know, it brought back all the stuff I've seen on Democracy Now! All the, all the people in, in Argentina who were tortured, and in Chile who were tortured, in Brazil, Guatemala, and then the people, and then that's by the CIA, you know, the people who get tortured by other people's governments and everything too. Turkey. Iran, Iraq, just to hear all of those stories. It's just really fucking sad. It's just really, really fucking sad. What a fucked up world we live in. And tell me what fucking Obama's gonna do about all that shit, okay? Explain that to me. Change my fucking ass. He hasn't even said he's gonna close Gitmo. Or he said if he closes Gitmo, he's gonna he's gonna open his own version of secret detention sites. What 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 part of what would Martin Luther King be proud of that? What do you think? <laughs> And the cabinet he's picking are people who would totally be open to doing it. They're completely former Clintonites who were part of the who were very entrenched in the corporate party. This country, you know, Gore Vidal had it right. Or, you know, Mike Rupert believes that Gore Vidal stole all of his stuff. So somebody had it right. I like Mike Rupert though. But he believes that that, you know, we have one party, it's the corporate party, or Gore Vidal said this anyway. We have one party, it's the corporate party, and there are two wings, a, a left wing and, or, or, you know, yeah, you know, a, a Republican wing and a Democratic wing. We have one party, the corporate party. And Barack Obama's election proves certainly one thing, which is that, that the corporate party won, okay? <laughs> Chomsky said, you know, this is not even about a presidency, it's about giving money, it's about an advertising prize. It's a prize who are just the, the most expensive or the best advertising that's what obama is obama we are ultimately the black power movement in its ideas of what completely what the black power movement stood for which is not just anti-racism but anti-imperialism anti-imperialism anti anti-classism anti-capitalism you know what those movements were really about is being completely 100 percent co-opted by Barack Obama becoming president. <laughs> this is gonna teach black people from here on out that the way to get ahead in this country is to work hard, believe in the system, believe in all these things instead of rebelling. Why spend your time being poor and rebelling when you can play basketball all day, make a million dollars, if you believe in the school system and study really hard, you too can become president of the fucking United States. You can become as brainwashed, you can become as as brainwashed as the majority of Americans are who, are who are white. But most of the advertising in this country is aimed toward white people. Most of the brainwashing in this country is aimed toward white people, okay? You can, you can be just like them. 
You can be just like them. <laughs> so this is completely squashing the Marxist, communist, socialist, anarchist, environmentalist, <laughs> feminist revolution that I wish would take place in this country. It's dead. It's dead thanks to Obama. Okay. Now, you know, I'm very happy that a black man become president, became president of the White House. It's a very symbolic, important moment. Very important moment in its symbolism, which is important in a postmodern world that we live in. Symbols, simulacra, symbols are more, in some cases, are more important than reality. So the, so the symbol of a black man becoming president is very important. But fundamentally, despite our postmodern view of reality we live in the modern world which is or we live, we live in whatever world where ultimately power is the name of the game and our the power of black people well i don't know i don't know you could you can make a case for why why barack obama becoming president ultimately may even help the black power movement if you want to look at it that way um you know more people believing the system means at least more people trying to survive and stay alive and fight and do the right thing and more people trying to do the right thing according to the laws could lead to eventually people having the money and resources to, 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 to question things and fund the revolution. I mean, typically people who question the system are, are usually people with enough time to at least think about it, right? Question the system with the, with the depth that I do, at least, you know. Usually have the time and privilege, privilege, to think about it instead of working. Oh, man. And everything's getting worse. The economy's getting worse and worse and worse. Well, at either rate, just hearing somebody for whom, you know, imagine if you found out t today that your brother had been tortured in a prison, you know. And this guy wasn't my brother, so I, mean, I, I don't know him. But he was gay, and he was, he had clearly been through some very traumatic experiences. And I, I definitely felt, I definitely felt like this guy... This guy and I, he shared something very special with me that he probably doesn't tell most people. So to, to, to see this person on a very humanist, one-to-one -one level, all this unbelievably awful stuff I read about people being tortured and killed and blown to pieces and everything all over the world, to have that be real, it's just more than I can handle. I'm gonna drink some more. It's Thanksgiving anyway, so I can use I can use Thanksgiving as my excuse to drink. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do anyway. So uh, the dog is making that whining noise. My brother's girlfriend has a dog, so let's take him outside. So anyway, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> oh fuck! Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You know. I don't know what else to say, really. That I think I just said it all. So it's 8:50, so I'm just gonna stop the video now. Feel free to leave comments. I'm gonna check this video for at least a, a week or two. So.